From number 10 Downing Street, the Prime Minister makes the momentous announcement for which the world had been waiting. Yesterday morning at 2.41 a.m. at General Eisenhower's headquarters, General Jodl, the representative of the German High Command and of Grand Admiral Dönitz, the designated head of the German state, signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Forces and simultaneously to the Soviet High Command. Uh, hostilities will end officially at one minute after midnight tonight, Tuesday the 8th of May. We may allow ourselves a brief period of rejoicing. Today is victory in Europe Day. Tomorrow will also be victory in Europe Day. But let us not forget for a moment the toils and efforts that lie ahead. Japan, with all her treachery and greed, remains unsubdued. The injuries she has inflicted upon Great Britain, the United States and other countries, and her detestable cruelties call for justice and retribution. We must now devote all our strength and resources to the completion of our tasks, both at home and abroad. Advance Britannia, long live the cause of freedom. God save the King.